Now here's something I bought myself off of eBay. Um, it's a Heath Kit capacitor checker. I've not ever plugged it in yet or tried it out or anything. But basically, I don't have any leads for it. Now I'm wondering, these look like just banana plugs would plug into there or something. And it's the same way with the um, signal generator that I've got. It's got these, looks like they have banana plug clips on the front. Can I just use something like the test leads from one of these since they just have banana plugs on them? Or do I need to order? I, I mean, I'm sure to all you people out there that have been working on radios for a long time, I mean, you have a specific name for these kind of wires, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and like I say, I mean, will banana plug wires work just fine? Or um, do I need some other kind of connector for it? And I've seen some on like a signal tracers, I think it is, where they, they have some great big test probe with a tube inside of it and stuff like that. And I don't know what you call those things either. Or where you would go to find them. But anyway, like I say, this one here is just like the one Doug got, I believe. And I'll go ahead and turn this one off and bring up the next thing to keep this video a little bit shorter. Now here's a radio that I got specifically for inside the house working on instead of out in the shop. This is a wintertime radio to work on. And as soon as I get Dan's radio done, this will probably be the next one I start working on because it's nice and warm inside the house here and this doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It's a RCA Victor Model 5T. I'm not exactly sure what year it is. I think it's possibly 1937. Um, you can see with the grill cloth, it has been gotten into in the past. And this has gotten a little flimsy up here. We'll go through and I got a reveneer different spots on it and stuff. And I don't know what they used for finishing on it. It looks like varnish. So it's going to take a while to clean all that mess off. And I'm going to have to um, fix up the case a little bit. It's trying to come loose up here at the top. Spots there. They used actual cardboard stapled in to for the speaker backing, speaker grill cloth backing there. And I will be taking that out. I'll possibly use it as a template and get me a little thin piece of plywood and make me a new um, backing for it there. I don't know if the chassis has ever been worked on underneath. I'm, I suspect it has simply because of the age of the radio. And I mean, it looks like instead of getting rid of this old rubber wires here that looks like they just wrapped black tape around them to keep the insulation from falling off of that one there. The, the other ones appear to, appear to be cloth covered. I can tell one is one back there is cloth covered and looks like a couple of them back there might be as well. It looks like somebody, I'm not sure what they did to that. But anyway, we'll get to it. Looks like a hard luck case. <laughs> One of my strays I brought home. <laughs> All right, well, I got one more item I want to put up here and then I'll go ahead and start uploading this video. Now this last one, haven't seen it yet. I've got to unbox the doggone thing. 
So we'll see what she is here in just a little bit. Well, I know what it's supposed to be, but this box doesn't appear to be very big and the thing is pretty light. So I don't know if it'll have what's, what it's got, what I think it's supposed to have in it or not, but we'll soon find out. Well, I hope that, it'll, that it will be in one piece. It came from South Dakota and it's got the barest minimum layer of little packing peanuts. So let me pull this out and we'll see how she turned out. All right, well under the packing peanuts, it appears to be bubble wrapped pretty good. So we'll go ahead and cut that off and see what we wind up with. So after getting it all out, it, it appears to be in one piece, at least on the outside. I don't hear anything clanging around on the inside of it. What I did hear clanging around was this cord. Little, damn that's little. My hand's bigger than the front of the thing here. The radio is called a Sentinel. Little tube radio. Made in the USA. I'm not familiar with this brand. I'm sure many out there are, but I'm not. Someone has painted the case. I don't know whether it was Bakelite or not, or just modern plastic, but someone has went and painted the case a uh, almost a metallic hunter green. Well, we'll have to strip that off and if the finish, if the Bakelite or plastic underneath of it look, looks decent or I can get it to look decent, we'll do so. Um, what's that? Mm. Well, at least it does have a little tube thing on it here. Looks like it's a model 309-I Series B. And there's the tube line up inside of it. It's got to be Fairly modern to have five tubes in it and be that small, I would think. I'm holding this camera with two hands and it's still shaking. All right, well, don't know much about it, but as small as that is, I might start on that one before I start on that RCA Victor. It just a little All-American 5 and I've never had an All-American 5 yet to work on. I want to at least open it up and check and see how it's doing and whatnot. Yeah, I, yeah, I do have some big hands, but still, I, I still wouldn't have thought it would be this, this doggone small. Let's see the I guess that's the tuning. Tuning knob seems to work and the pointer seems to work, so I guess we don't, won't need to restring the dial. That must be on, off, and volume there. And I guess that's about it. No tone control or anything like that, just a basic little radio. All right, well. Well, more about these later, I reckon. I need to get this stuff all put away now and start getting some work done. Today is grocery day, so I gotta get in the shower here in a minute and get out and get dressed and head to town to get all my Friday stuff done. This is, this is Gary signing off.